Hello everybody, welcome to the round of 16 match between Pwnbot and his humans versus Mr. Pepino and his dwarves. Of course, Mr. Pepino, the slayer of Sir Rick Reckless. Uh, <laughs> don't know why he's Sir, but there you go. And in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude. Hello! Hello, here to talk about certain kinds of dolls that are suddenly popular and controversial in England, Jim. No, I've got no idea what you're talking about, and let's uh, ignore that, whatever it is. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so, Mr. Pepino has loads of guard and loads of mighty blow. Um, being a very exciting, interesting dwarf coach, he's, you know, being adventurous, uh, feeling adventurous today, aren't we? Uh, taking mighty blow and guard, very exciting. Uh, the humans are also, you know, they've got a bit of dodge, right? They haven't got much, though, have they? 13 players. No. Um, we've got some guard guys, some dodge guys, a strength up, um, a rather pathetic human looking human team. Um, yeah. It go. is two thoroughly mediocre uh, teams. The dwarves don't have anything special about them, and the humans look like they needed about five more games to get some more skills. And mm. the dodge is, of course, the uh, wonderful and fun dodge and tackle interaction, making it such a weird choice to pick on double specifically because you're afraid of this, where you pick it and now it just feels very worthless in a lot during a lot of the game. Yep. Does Squirrel have hands? That's the question. We we did that, didn't we? Did we did like we did uh, we did Elliot versus Squirrel dude and had like a hands. What was it? What was the match? There was some kind of hands. No hands bad. <laughs> a no hands bad match between Squirrel and Elliot. That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, whether I have hands is it's kind of like Schrodinger's hat, cat. You know, you can't if you show it, you get the answer. But until then. Kind of exists in the middle. Either I have both have hands and do not have them. Well, you can watch the vods of of JFW and you can discover. There you go. That's that's the best thing. Get plug plug the channel. <laughs> By the way, Squirrel, would you like to be in the new the new JFW two K twenty three? Sure, but I know you've got a million other things to put on the priority, so don't don't feel obliged to rush me in there. Glorious, I'll put you in. You're on my list of people that I was going to add, even though they hadn't asked to be in yet. <laughs> so now that you now you can be on the official, have asked to be Hopefully in. Hopefully I get um, an entrance that I can lock into having an entrance as good as the one I had and where the, where the other 2k one was. Four, yeah, that was a glorious entrance. Never quite lived up to it in the ring, but the entrance was great. Yeah, the entrance was amazing. <laughs> you can, I've, I've got a, I've got a, I've got a, what's it called? A faction called the Big Grind Nerds. So that that seems good for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bezel in a year B four. It could also be called SFL admins. <laughs> Put J five and uh, Ricky Flack in there. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> Pretty good. And and myself and Shawnee technically. <laughs> you can show up whenever we uh, have won a bunch of stuff, so you can take credit. Exactly, exactly. Droops, so they're seeds. Well, aren't nut seeds? Our well, nuts are just a specific type of seed. Sorry for people want, watch, wanting Blood Bowl commentary, but it's dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, two dice is that guy, and now let's talk about nuts. I'm much more interested in talking about nuts. And pretty much anything than watching any dwarf game ever. <laughs> let's talk about Hulk Hogan, Jim. No, let's not talk about it. And let's not talk about things that Squirrel wants to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> no offense. Well, we were on wrestling and you said anything other than this, so I just wanted to wanted to test that theory out, that's all. No. <laughs> oh dear. So I, this isn't good having the, this guy should have been the one who got blitz, right? Leaving like you need to win the center as uh, as dwarves. Mm -hmm. So like letting this guy get knocked down and then this guy get knocked down and this guy and he's getting three guys knocked down this turn yeah and then he's getting a fourth one blitzed so he's getting his position destroyed here 
again, a situation, um, I think I've mentioned this in previous work games, but you don't really need to have a cage right now. Just having a nice solid line in front is going to be good. So, like, that blitzer could be up front, making so that first two guys can't happen, etc., etc. Mm. Makes it all a bit more solid, right? Yep. Yeah, you should, you should. You just have to blitz this guy. Like, you can't. You can't just give up a nothing hit like this. Do you know what I mean? It's just a free 2D. Like, at mm. least if you've, you know, you've got more based on here, like, for whatever, like, you know, if you've got three guard in here, then okay, it's pretty hard for him to react. And you got lucky, really, only getting only getting one guy knocked down, or two, whatever it was. But um, yeah, that's, that was really pretty shitty. Uh, <laughs> pretty shitty dwarf play, just just like you know, giving getting piecemeal blocked away like that, and a big gang foul as well. <laughs> into into <laughs> cars. <laughs> And uh, Apple works. It's a guard stand from Dwarf. It's probably worth the pop carry. Mm. It was a miss next game. Yeah, it's a miss next game. So it's the back of this game, but you're trying to play for more than this. So yeah. Mm. So you got to. And I'm trying to. So it's just a very classic thing. Like, all right, they got a Kaz. I'm gonna blitz their strength four guy and pushes. <laughs> yeah. So I do nothing this turn. Great. Fun mm. game. Yeah. And he's got to pile forward somehow, but it's difficult. The difference is nuts are dry single seed fruits, whereas drips are fleshy with juice and stuff, but still single seed. Thank you, Catalars, for information on <laughs> cashew nuts and normal nuts. Hello, Jay Leave. It was not a Channel Points commission, so it might actually happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very interesting, isn't it? The the new chalice, very exciting. Well, not the new, the, the final chalice, not really the new chalice, the final chalice. Um, you know, we need, we could have an idea for, uh, for what it's called. Have they finally confirmed that it's the final chalice or just the final formally run chalice? It is the final chalice of uh, football mm. two. That is officially official. Um, from the the voice of Garyon himself, Garyon, and then his strength four, who blitzed that in anger, as you said, gets taken out. Yeah. So there you go, absolutely yeah. brutal. Absolutely. So I would suppose that someone could, if they wanted to, run a, another league and call it CCL and just run, try and run an open league and do the admin work for it. I mean, they can, but with this yeah. with this set of Blood Bowl 2, you know, admins, the Blood mm -hmm. Bowl 2 Chalice admins... Oh, I, I love Blood say, Bowl 3! This is the last... Oh, he's like blitzing I a guy got a block, but I mean... It's like... I guess he gets to, yeah. It's not that bad, because it's like, well, what else are you going to do? Like, this offense is over. This is just trying to... Uh, Trying to survive at nil nil now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is horrendous for the dwarves. Yeah. Um, yes, pretty it's... much. Mad skills, blood ball is. Man, I really hate moving those players to the right the way they did. Formed a nice cage, but having them on the left is better because now you're just inviting all the pressure on the left side of this cage. Mm -hmm. You already can't advance up to the right side. Yeah, but, but at least it's at least it's like giving you somewhere to go, ball, right? So like, yeah. if you if you spread out both sides, then you get totally enveloped. Whereas at least at least mm. this is like kind of making them go there, so then you've got somewhere to go to afterwards. Um, yeah, in maybe. A way. In a way. Um, I feel like there's a nice spot for Garth. Well, he's fortunately not too many. He's not giving up too many blocks this turn though. For free, I'm like <laughs> three turns. Le double skulls. Yeah, well, yeah, because he hasn't ra randomly paced for no, <laughs> no games. <laughs> so, yeah, he's. The ball isn't over our yet. It might just be over on Steam. Yeah, it's it's more, it's more that Blood Bowl is like Blood Bowl streaming seems pretty much. Blood Bowl streaming seems pretty dead, right? Unfortunately. The numbers are really low for playing of Blood Bowl 3 and watching of Blood Bowl 3 and the watching of Blood Bowl 2 is down a lot. Obviously the Chalice um, sponsorship might encourage a bit of viewership there. Um, but overall, I think, again, I think you should just try to get out of this at nil-nil. Now yeah. this is 
you know, humans have got one fast player on the team. So this might, you know, this might lead to some kind of turnover somehow. Mm -hmm. uh, and he's got the, oh yeah, you can just chain push this guy out and probably get a two dice on him, can't he? Yep. Or at least, he can probably get a hit on this character if he wants it, but... I, there was definitely a chance that if Blood Bowl 3 came out and was somehow very good, at the momentum of Blood Bowl 2 being good, it could continue to grow the game the way Blood Bowl 2 managed to grow the game, which I think is pretty undeniable what happened. Mm. Um, unfortunately, that does not appear to... Growth of the game now seems impossible. Um, maintaining the player base and saving off the inevitable playing of all hobby games seems to be the most optimistic goal possible at this point. Yeah. But he gets the POW with a 2D block on the ball and... Oh. He's in the back and there's still two turns for this catcher to get the tuddy. Yeah, Has I mean... a guy on the ball, so forces the blitz onto that and he can maybe do it. I might have liked to follow up there. Yeah, I, I would have I would have tagged the guy. I would have tagged yeah. the extra guy. I might have liked to dodge attack the other one as well, so, so that everyone's all stuck. No, I think but, you've got a block, but I, I, I would have at least followed with that one. Um, yeah. But yeah, this, I mean, this was the problem with the, the dwarf turn last turn. Like, okay, he might be... He was probably still thinking that, you know, he wants to score, but... Oh, man. Oh, man. He should not have been thinking about it. He should score, and he should not be making that 1D, and he should not be doing any of this. <laughs> so that's going to be, this should be a touchdown for the humans now, heading yep. into their offensive drive. Yep. So they've got just enough time to score. Yep. And they won't have to stall, which is actually probably a blessing for them. Yep. Yeah, you can see, you can see like the streaming stats on Twitch metrics, you can see the playing stats on stream. Stream charts, Steam charts, yeah, and it's, it's all looking very, very bad for Blood Bowl. <laughs> Gets the ball with the thrower. And then GFIs a couple of times, which is way better than handing it off to the catcher. Really nice. Now maybe dodge here, right? Now maybe this dirty player could dodge to make a screen. I don't think it matters. I don't think anyone can possibly reach. But even if, maybe this blitzer can reach. One, two, three, four, five. Like if you if you dodge out this lineman, you can dodge with this blitzer. Nobody's about to get knocked over. <laughs> so then, yeah, you can't dodge him out. No. Uh, is there any way to hit the ball then? Well, it was if that had been a push. <laughs> One, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. So literally that block was the worst thing he could have done there. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. the runner has his plus movement. Can he get there? No, it can only base. Mm. Can only base. And there's not a is there a chain to get the ball up? No. Wait. No, the blitz are reading back down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the problem, Jurgen. Yeah, like you know, as a as a financial endeavor, <laughs> you've got to think pulling the plug is the best option for them, right? <laughs> I I really hate that. But if you're gonna do this, all the dodging and stuff, just go base the ball. Um, oh, well, he was trying to he was trying to blitz him and then base the ball afterwards. That seems. So what, you wanted to get a POW and then base to force a one dice, except the player could just come up to it. That seems bad. Yeah. Well, he did roll a double skull. <laughs> he did roll three out of four skulls. But yeah, he was trying to he was trying to force a, a, a one in 12, nine, six, yeah. Which is optimistic, to say the least. Or I guess he could have just been a one in nine and then, you know, have to dodge. Um, so like a one in 81, I guess. Best. And so then you would have to re-roll the, the 2D, wouldn't you? Because you're still looking at a 1 in 9 anyway, so you'd have to re-roll the 2D. So it'd be mm -hmm. less than a... It would be like a 1 in 240 chance. Which doesn't seem very good odds. <laughs> no.
<laughs> so yeah. Yeah, there was a lot he needed to do to stop that score. And a lot of luck after he did a lot to stop that score. Yeah. So, three... He's still got 11, right? It's just such a weird defense, I can't count it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's 11. Yes. Yeah, 3, 6, 9, 11. And the humans are definitely on 11. Um, I don't think the humans DACA, but mostly because humans aren't very good at doing the DACA. But maybe... Maybe even then they should consider it. That's the thing, right? Because if you're not good at doing the DACA, you're also not very good at just doing a normal offense, right? Like, that's the thing for Skaven. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the Skaven DACA is like, yeah, it's not very good, but like a full eight turn stall for, hum for, for Skaven is like really hard to do. And like, they're really bad at the full stall. Like, obviously, they're great at scoring a touchdown because they've got four movement 994 players, but when it comes to like sculpting the whole drive, they're pretty terrible at it. So, while they're not great at Dakers, it's not really that bad a point because they're bad at, they're so bad at a normal offense. <laughs> this also seems like a very bad way to have done the LOS block, having mm. to bring a player in for the assist. Yeah. It feels like that was wholly unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't the best, was it? It gave him so more to his credit, he is points. at least wearing the best kit as a human team, so, you know. Yeah, he's got I'd rather. for him. Yeah, rather wear the best kid as a human team than the Kalos blocks for us all the time. Rather just not be a dwarf coach, really. That's the main thing. It's the main thing he's got going for him. He's not. He's not got a dwarf team here. <laughs> most correct Lupac thing. Most correct thing Lupac has ever said is there are no dwarf fans, just dwarf coaches. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why we did that handoff, but not to pick up with the catcher, but whatever. Well, because he hasn't got a reroll, right? It's just reroll conservation, so it's like he only gets the ball three, two out three times if he picks it up, doesn't he? Whereas here, he gets an eight out of nine, nine, eight out of nine. nine. Which is 64 out of 81, so it's like three quarters of the time, I guess. It's a little bit better than two out of three. Mm. Yeah. And it's without. It's without Funny, using a reroll. A reroll, re whatever, yeah. yeah it's not cool. quite the um, insanity that of doing the hobgoblin pick up into both and tar handoff. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it, that's fair enough. Using the using the rerolls for higher chance with reroll conservation in mind. Yeah. The thing is, Verlamir, even if they do. Add a boatload of stuff that should have been put in release. There's still the game underneath it is so unenjoyable, and it's so much work to play. It's like I'm not sure. Like obviously the people who are playing it now, you know, like the the 300 people or whatever who are playing it now would would appreciate that. <laughs> but it's like it's still got so many problems. Like. Ooh, one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. <laughs> I guess you can bring the catcher back to cover this up, for, or or not. Okay. Um, for the throw, right? Come back to cover this up, but I guess. I mean, it's only base, right? You can't. You can't yeah. That's the ball unless he does an insane dodge. So hmm. it's not really a concern. It's it's close enough that you can disregard it. But I mean, it's really bad for the. Wolves now, isn't it? Down to ten. Oh yeah, they've been they've been diced with the casually dice. Yeah. I think it's pretty clear. To say. I don't think they've got. I think they've also gone the worst end of the uh, block dice. Yep. But, yeah. To your point of content, the issue with adding more content is content is great for driving engagement and maintaining the engagement of the player base that's already there, and or for showing value on the first day of launch. It's yeah. Jesus Christ these casualties. Yep. But it's not going to bring players back. After the launch is a buggy mess. Yeah. 300, I said, Sir Coppelius. I didn't say 3, but 300. But now it's 211, as Mad Skill says, so 300 was overestimating it. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, there's a. Uh... That's the. I mean, that's the problem, right? There. It's, it's weird. Like, they've got two problems with the game. And. It's funny because I would have put up with all of the things that are making it 
bad for the people who are playing it if you see what i mean <laughs> mm. and like i'm not i'm not forgiving those things but like i personally would have been able to look past you know all of that if the game underneath it was 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 all right but it's just not <laughs> and that's the thing like you, if, it's like the pyramid yes. of needs isn't it that's what it's like yes if the uh base gameplay was good then it I think the menu system in the game is actually a kind of a good comparison point for this. The menus are not as functional as they should be, but as you, if you compare them to Blood Bowl 2, the base functionality that can be offered by them is much better. Yeah. And so we can put up with some of the issues with it because we can clearly see how it is going to be much better with some polish. The base mm. gameplay is really bad, and it's not really clear how it gets better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Which not is... burning your eyes, a solid foundation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's funny because I would I would forgive a lot of the problems that people are like not playing it for right now. But I, I'm not going to get to that stage because of how unenjoyable and how much of a chore it is to play. Like it's actually a chore to play. It's not it's not fun, it's just work to play. And I think it's also a good time to point out that Feeling like the base gameplay is a chore, fundamentally flawed, is already how most people, when they're coming to Blood Bowl, feel about Blood Bowl. <laughs> so your digital interpretation can't have the additional hurdle that the digital game is like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, to be fair, like th there is th two issues, right? There is Blood Bowl, the way Blood Bowl is, right? But if you just completely ignore that, right? If you ignore the problems with Blood Bowl as a game and purely look at it as Blood Bowl 3 versus, like, you know, Blood Bowl 2 or whatever, like, that's the thing. Like, Blood Bowl 3 is a video game implementation rather than... Because obviously Blood Bowl has some problems, right, that are never going to get solved and and whatever, right? So, like, that's the weird... Like, Blood Bowl is a weird game in itself, isn't it, really? But looking past all of that into just... It should feel nice to play, and it doesn't. And <laughs> as I say, Blood Bowl 3, not Blood Bowl. <laughs> Blood Bowl regularly doesn't feel nice to play. <laughs> but in terms of controls and responsiveness and everything like that. Yeah, you can have the additional hurdle, but it's all rough to play. Um, I'll disagree with Corpax. I don't think not having all the teams is a huge blunder. I think they've got more teams at launch than they had in the previous game, which had more teams at launch than the previous game. You're never going to get all teams at launch because I because this game program keeps adding more teams. I think there are enough teams at launch. I think not having a, cur a real timeline for new teams coming in and like showing progress on that is, I don't think that's great, but we're never going to get all teams at launch. Um, that's just not, I think it's going to happen. They have to design all of the art team. So I think it's just got a fundamental weakness rather than like a fundamental flaw. Like there's just nothing, you never really get around that. Yeah. Ooh, well, this is a very dodgy arcade, so the Blitz here is going to protect against this runner coming around for the ball. Which was a big, big danger. No, do you ever no do a 4 plus dodge here with the ball? Oh, yeah, yeah, you have to. Yeah, that's the catcher, right? So it's a 2 plus on that for the dodge, too? Yep, yeah. It's... Okay, so that, ooh, that catcher should be one square down to the left, I think. Um, one square down to the left. Yeah, 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 he should be here. Yeah, this is easy four plus day the two. Like, there's no choice. I was thinking here. just directly below, yeah, directly below the catcher, right? So that yeah. way it's running assists from other side, or, yeah. Or you just go to the left. But that's not the square. The square on the right is definitely not the correct one. Yeah, one of these two, but yeah, not, mm -hmm. just, not just four plus hitting the ball. Oh, gets it. Gets it. I correct play. Nice. Mm hmm. Correctly. It's obviously correct because we suggested it. So. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah. Exactly. I mean. I think. I think. You know. You have to ascertain that you're miles behind now, and you've mm -hmm. you're like you've taken three Kaz dwarves. Um, you're miles behind. You one nil down. Like you know. You have to. Like now. It, we're we're beyond the point where you've got to be desperate. Now every turn you need to be saying, should I do a four plus dodge to start or a five plus dodge to start? <laughs> <laughs> Which of these is more correct? Yeah. And I'm not really joking. Yeah. Mm. 
not having an idea for the launch was a mistake. Yes, releasing an early access game as a full launch and promising that core features for how the game is played in any way online, in any version online, was a mistake. <laughs> you, you can't release a game that doesn't have the features necessary for single player or the league structures, either public or private, necessary for multiplayer and call it a global game. <laughs> it, yeah. Correct! <laughs> Wow, this is brutal, isn't it, for the dwarves? They've got a fireplace on <laughs> standing up. One, two, three, four. So yeah, they have five classic, players standing up at the start of the turn. It's also a classic 1 0 offensive, like, eh, I'm not scoring. Fuck it. It started into a big old cluster. <laughs> yeah. Who cares? Yep. Yeah. If they put four turns to work on a cluster, they still won't be able to score. And, uh, yeah, BB Jock, and sorry, in the updates, uh, it's been complete radio silence from uh, from Cyanide. However, um, there is allegedly, you know, completely independent of what Cyanide has said, there is a very strong rumour circulating that there will be a patch on the 21st. 21st? There you go, the 21st. That, that sums it up. The 25th. <laughs> Dwarves will have a bit of a chance to score here with that runner, and if they can get a blister free to do the hand off. Yeah, this is somehow working great, working out great for them, right? Like they've they've got all loads of bodies around the ball, and then they've got their uh, move up guy in 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 a great situation. The stand from on the ball in particular is quite helpful. Yep. So it's just be hard to get those guard assists out of there. April J leave April. <laughs> I don't think you scattered the ball there, but I would have considered it. I'm writing that block. Gets the four plus pick or the five plus yeah. pick, four plus. It was a four plus, which is why I'm not sure you rerolled the the block guys because you would have had to push them under the ball. Mm. Uh, right. And then you well, can scatter down. So maybe you don't even take that block, actually. Maybe. And that's pretty much GG, isn't it? It's, it's, it was yeah. a good effort, really, in the second half from the dwarves, but I obviously yeah. diced pretty hard in terms of the removals and the block dice. But I do think he wasn't... You know, I don't think he played his offense great, but certainly the dice told in the end. He got they? the uh, humans into position where on that last turn they did make a four plus and a three plus without a reroll. That's pretty good for how far behind they were. Yes, yeah, I think he did a lot better on defense and offense, but maybe, you know, maybe Pombot took his eye off the ball a bit, you know, and like took it a bit easy mm -hmm. or whatever, like thinking he was 1 0 up and it was easy, like when he started making removals. But like you know, his human team is pretty, pretty terrible. <laughs> so, you know. Great to get the win there. So, uh, commiserations, Mr. Pepino. And, oh, it's not over. Okay, don't say it's over. <laughs> he just needs to get a riot one turn and then blitz and counter one for a dwarf. So, yeah. anything could happen. All results are possible. Oh, don't, say, don't say it's over. <laughs> uh, I have not seen that post in Discord. No. Conebot just making a mistake scoring gave the dwarves a chance to get back into the game. Yeah, right. Um, let's him, let's him get his players punched a bit for no real reason. Yeah, that's fair enough. But um, there is, uh, there is, uh, there is like you know, basically. But, I mean, it's not, it's not really, uh, it's not really giving any games away. So there's, there's a, there's a. There's a bug, like there's an absolutely horrendous bug that lets anybody hang the game at any point that Artemis found and messaged Gautier about like a release and then Gautier told out that that's finally getting fixed on the 25th of April where there's going to be a patch to coincide with the new season of, you know, pre-season. The new season of pre-season is going to have a, it's going to be a patch. So that is in eight days time. But you know. It's probably not going to change the entire color palette of the menus, and it's probably not going to change the into all the color, the contrast, and all that issues on the Fitch, which so you know, 
for the people who can handle how shit the game is now, they might be a little bit happy, but it's still going to remain completely unreadable for people watching on Twitch. And like that, isn't it? Nice fight battle here from Mr. Pepino. Mm, love the spike file. <laughs> Nothing else to do. It's not like you know. It's not a nasty thing, is it to say? It's just funny to call it a spike file. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. Nine or Rick's to four kind of tells the story of this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And one side was dwarves. So amazingly, dwarves getting banged out lose. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's things he could have done his offense better, right? Like I do think he could have played his offense better, but he played his offense. He played his defense pretty good. Um, did Mr. Pepino, and you know, you can argue. You know how much of that was down to Pwnbot playing his offense bad, but obviously Pwnbot's team was crap, so that, that, that is an aspect of it. <laughs> um, so there you go. Commiserations, Mr. Pepino. Congratulations, Pwnbot. Great result beating those dwarves. Thank you very much, Squirrel Dude. Glorious having you in the booth. You know, it's not a huge shock that level 3 menus and the level the way they are when we have the level 2 menus made by the same people. <laughs> yep. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.